You know, it's, it's exciting to be at this point that we have a vaccination to offer um, healthcare workers and, and hopefully soon the, the, the public at large. Uh, I think with the vac vaccination available for uh, public safety workers, uh, healthcare workers, it's going to put a level of trust with the community to know that the people that are going to take care of them in their time of need are protected. Both of the vaccines that we're seeing that are currently um, have been authorized by the FDA under emergency use authorization require a second dose. So there is some immunity that can start as early as day 12 from that first dose. However, to get the optimum coverage and best protection for our community, that second dose is very, very important. I think this is the best way to be protected and it's the best way to protect all the people that are at the highest risk of having severe complications with COVID. I chose to get the vaccine for my own health and um, for the health and well-being and safety of my family. And my mother is in a nursing home and I want to make sure that she's safe there if I come to visit her. A little bit of discomfort today, saving my life, saving my family's life, my in-laws or my parents or just anyone in the community that I'm going to run into in the next couple months is more important to me to make sure they're safe than my my discomfort. You know with any vaccine you get, in a common knowledge you get a flu shot, you get some arm soreness, you're going to have some different effects. I think that's you know to me it's good because I know the vaccine's working or stimulating a response in my system. Really until after the full vaccination has taken place and we know we're fully protected nothing changes between now and then. All the same precautions are still going to be taken. And even after that second vaccination has taken place, until we're positive that it's as effective as we need it to be to ensure we're not being spreaders and that we're protected, all of these precautions will still continue until we get the okay from our resources, public health in the state, that it's okay to discontinue those. We have 100% of our full-time staff taking this vaccine. So we get to that point where our, our staff is vaccinated, we can start getting back to the other things that we were doing before this happened. Our, our group training, it increases our operational readiness. We've been very lucky that we haven't had to take an entire crew off shift for more than a couple days, but there's fire departments around the country where that has had to happen and they start dropping apparatus, you start dropping calls, you just don't have the manpower or, or the staffing levels to get to where you need to be. So this is, this is great for us. This is very important for the fire department to have this and, and maintain our safety for the community. Being in the ambulance service or pre-hospital um, environment, things are changed so rapidly and it's hard for our crews to always prepare as, as hard as they try. It's hard to always be prepared for everything because they don't know what they're going into. And so by our crews being able to uh, get the vaccine, it just adds another layer of protection for them so that they don't uh, get anything um, from our patients, don't take it home to their families, but also they don't hopefully give anything to our patients as well. Uh, we will be continuing to wear masks, we'll be hand sanitizing, do all of our uh, precautions that we've done throughout the pandemic for quite some time. Uh, for us, we realize it's going to be a while until things get back to what we think to be normal, um, but those are, are most definitely needed. The community needs to know that the workforce, the public safety folks that are, are in and out of your homes and businesses on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, providing and protecting uh, you and your community, in our community, um, that we take every step possible every day to do it as safe as possible for us, but as safe as possible for you. Um, we're grateful for the opportunity to have our employees vaccinated for this um, because we know we're entering your home, your business, at a time where you're probably most vulnerable or a time when you're in an, an emergent situation. And we want you to have the confidence in us that we've taken the steps forward to ensure that uh, we are a safe and healthy workforce and we can provide you the services that you, you need and deserve. As vaccine continues to come out um, across the United States, we know that this first phase has really been geared towards healthcare workers and long-term care staff and residents. We know that at some point it will be coming to the community as a whole. And we're hoping that everyone is as excited as we are to see it come out and to improve the health of our community so we can kind of get back to what we are longing for from pre-pandemic days. And as we are as we are continuing through this, this COVID response and vaccine is new to everybody, please make sure to use those trusted, reliable resources such as the CDC, North Dakota Department of Health, local public health units, or your provider.